Practice question number two, uh, page 15. So uh, if DNA from an organism contains 15% guanine, what percentage of the other bases, and of course there's only three other bases would be found in that same sample. So we can work this out really quickly. Again, because we know guanine and cytosine always pair together, if there's 15% of guanine, there has to be 15% of cytosine because they're again bonded together in that double helix molecule that comes up with 30 percent total for both a and or sorry g and c and if i take a hundred percent and subtract that from 30 percent that leaves me with 70 percent for adenine and thymine now, individually, if I want to find out how much adenine and thymine, I'm going to take that and divide that by two. So pretty simple formulas. Uh, and that will leave us, of course, with 35% adenine and 35% thymine. So we just have to fill that in. Just be careful when you're converting that over because sometimes you'll see that in a numerical response question. So 35 35, 15% guanine, and 15% cytosine. Okay, any questions, give me an email. Thanks.